question I wanted to, what I wanted uh, just, if, mm -hmm. if it took just five seconds to point on is, what is the current state of the law? If uh, say someone moved from one political party to another, if you elected as a governor of a state, for instance, I think there was some confusion. Initially, we, uh, I don't think the state of the law is clear now. The last time the, the former deputy senate president said that some amendments have been carried out to address that in the, in the electoral act. So I don't know if anyone can enlighten us. What is the current state of the law when a governor elected on the platform of APC, for instance, moved out from APC to become, uh, to become a member of the PDP, where there is no faction in APC? What is the current state of the law? I don't know. I think, is it clear now? Honestly, I don't know who's going to answer that question, but I can tell you up front, I mean, we do not expect jumpologists, people who jump from one party to the other, to actually fix the issue, because who would want to set a trap for himself to be caught? I would never expect that we will be having some, you know, the same people who you know at the back of their mind, they are members of APC, but their one leg is in the PDP or in AAC, ACN or whatever it's called. I don't, maybe let's have a politician. Um, if if uh, uh, a, uh, we have a lawyer here, that is uh, the former minister of sports, uh, uh, Mr. Solomon Dalum. Uh, if you can unmute yourself, can you please take that question? I think uh, you'll be a very fantastic person to answer that question. What is the state of law of the law as uh, asked by Mr. Uh, Elomba? Uh, if someone moves in from one political party to the other where there is no conflict? Well, um, the, the, the position of the law is that if there is a conflict in a political party, um, elected officials in the legislature uh, have the legal support to migrate from their political party to another, but the, the, the executive positions are not covered by um, the law. So governors who are elected in any, under any politi uh, political party can migrate to another political party. But the judicial decision has been that if there is a crisis in a party, then any elected official can migrate. And the Supreme Court proceeded to define crisis as a sharp division between the National Working Committee of the party. So if you have um, Obaseki leaving the APC, uh, his argument could be on the fact that the National Executive Committee of APC, as at the time he took the decision, was divided into two. And uh, there were multiple leadership. So in that situation, anybody who cannot stand the crisis can migrate. So that has been the judicial attitude. OK, that is on the executive side. What of the, uh, the legislative side, then? So is, does that same apply to the legislators? Yeah, for a legislature, anybody elected into the legislature, whether of a state or of the National Assembly, if there is no crisis on him, migrated from his political party, which elected him, into office to another political party, he will have to leave his seat in the legislature. That is the position of the law. Okay, sadly, we but, do not have uh, Omar Sanya, FCC Jones, because I would have loved to have clarifications on the case of Imo State. Uh, when when he had your, uh, sorry, when um, uh, Hope Uzadim became the governor of Imo State, we saw a migration of almost all the elected members into the APC. And we are not aware that there were some pre-DP crisis in that state. So what's your take? So why did they make that migration then? No, this, yeah, you see, um, somebody, one of the speakers identified one of our challenges. You see, the rule of law, the, the issue of the principle of the rule, rule of law is fundamental in democracy. When those members migrated, the speaker of the state legislature 
was supposed to have declared their seats vacant. But of course, you know, as we all know too, that most of those that met up the legislature at the state level are people that were handpicked by the, the, the governor and then brought in to support them. And that's why the, the, the principle of check and balance is virtually even lacking in our democratic uh, practices. Because if they would, if this were as it were in the second republic, of course, most of the governors would have sit up. So I think it was the failure, and that was what I said, we have institutional collapse in our democracy. Our institutions are not working because the speaker does not need anything to do than to declare their seat vacant and write INEC.